You're riding a plane to the other side of the world. Your longest trip yet. You even have a window seat. Not bad. The sun beams through the single paned window and it looks almost angelic. Suddenly, the glass on the window starts to crack. Is this normal? You call for the flight attendant, but it's too late. The window cracks open and the intense change in air pressure causes a wind tunnel in the plane. You try to climb the seats to block the window, but the pressure keeps you stuck against the wall. And all of this because the little hole in the airplane window was missing. That's right. The little hole is actually there for a reason. Simply to regulate the air pressure between the first and second window. There are so many small items like that that you may not have known were there or actually serve a purpose. Like how those little clear discs on soda caps are there to seal in carbonation. If they weren't there, your Pepsi would go flat. Or like that small pocket in your jeans, initially made for pocket watches. Or how about Chinese food containers? They're actually designed to be flattened and eaten off of like a dinner plate. Once you hear the following facts, you'll never look at everyday items the same way again. Take a plane, for example. You board it, and ugh, man, you're stuck in coach. You're ready for a ride when your legs will be cramped and you can't put your seat back enough to relax. At least you have a window seat, though. But what you don't know is one small thing is actually providing you more comfort than you realize. Those tiny holes on the airplane windows. Those are there to regulate air pressure when the plane cruises to a rising altitude. Because of that, your head actually doesn't explode. So you can thank that little hole for your head. Not to mention it also helps to avoid fogging up the window. If you just learned something new, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's take another scenario. You're driving your brand new car and realize you're a little low on gas. You pull into a gas station and park next to a pump only to realize that the gas intake is on the other side. This one's an easy fix. Just take a peek at the little gas pump next to your speedometer. There should be an arrow pointing left or right, and this tells you which side the gas intake is on. Now, if only there were a way to know how all your clothes reacted to detergent before you used it. You ever wash something for the first time and it comes out faded? I know, it's a drag. But hey, what is that? Your bright new orange jumper came with a little replacement button and a small patch on the fabric. You might have thought that this fabric is supposed to be used to patch up your clothes if torn, but it's actually there to test detergent on. No more faded jeans. Unless faded denim is coming back in style, let me know. Speaking of trends, those winter hats with the pom-poms. Turns out the pom-poms aren't just for fashion, even though they are pretty cute. Those hats are called beanies, first of all, and actually go back to the days of the Vikings. Just picture a big, burly Viking wearing a hat knit by his granny, and at the very tippy top of his head sits a big, fluffy pom-pom. Historically accurate, a pom-pom was used to keep all of the seams together at the top of the hat. After a while, the Vikings switched the pom-poms for the more manlier button, but the pom-poms have actually come back in style, more for the aesthetic. Certain everyday things don't even actually need to be there anymore, but we haven't just changed things around, like notebook margins. A college-ruled piece of paper has an inch of extra paper on the left. All that paper is just left unused. Well, it's actually there to protect your work. Rats used to frequent homes a lot more than they do now, and one of their favorite snacks was paper. They'd nibble on the sides of pages so the margins were added as rat snacks. Talk about your pets actually eating your homework. Here's one for you wine lovers out there. Any snobby sommelier would not pass up the opportunity to tell you the reason for the indentations on the bottom of wine bottles. Sure, it helps you grip the bottle for pouring, but really the indentations are there to distribute the pressure in the bottle during the corking process. This is mostly just for bottles of sparkling wine. Some say the reason non-sparkling wine bottles have indentations was to stand them up during the glass blowing process. Now bottles are machine made and don't actually need indentations. So if your wine connoisseur friend tells you that the bigger the indentation, the better the wine, just tell them that size actually doesn't matter. There are plenty of inventions out there intended to make your life a little bit easier or for more serious reasons. Some are outdated, some will save your life. Just look around you. Question why things are the way they are, and maybe you'll learn something cool. And now you can rest easy, knowing you won't make the mistake of parking on the wrong side of the gas pump again.